So there's been lots of leaks about the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro designs, like dummy models. However, a new report might have just shown us what the final design could be. Let me share you the latest on this report and also the latest on the iPhone 13 Pro release date and price with a summary of everything we know so far. Hi, it's Matt here. So welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you follow my videos already. For everyone new, this video will be giving you the latest leaks or reports first, followed by the release date and then a summary of the iPhone 13 models with the prices. Also, as there's the reports coming in now for both the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro models, these leaks are split into two videos now. So moving on, it's now July and it's been a month since WWDC. We now have public betas for all of Apple's new OS's, including iOS 15. iOS 15 is giving iPhone users new FaceTime features and iMessage changes to name a few. However, we're expecting a few more software tweaks for the iPhone 12s or the iPhone 13 and for them to be married up with the new hardware put inside. So let's first talk about that report of what looks to be the final design for the iPhone 13 Pro and you'll see why in a mo. So this year, like most years, the upcoming iPhones are perhaps the most frequently leaked handsets out there. But while we're used to seeing renders and dummies of the iPhone 13 range, the latest leaks it seems to be a little bit different. Benx, a Chinese smartphone case maker, has shared photos of iPhone 13 chassis models on Weibo, what is basically a Chinese social network if you didn't know. These are a bit like the non-functioning dummy units that we've seen elsewhere, except they show the supposed shapes of the iPhone 13 range, not the complete finished appearance. Now these may look dull and boring, but they do tell us that phone case makers are using this template to create the cases for this design. Apple does share out their dimensions to certain accessories companies to make cases or other accessories for their devices ahead of time before Apple launched them. And this is what we believe that we're seeing right here. The 13 Pro design is quite evident to be very similar to the 12 Pro models. However, the camera module square does look a little bit bigger and it's also been reported that the overall size is to be a little bit more thicker for a slightly bigger battery inside. The same is said for the normal iPhone 13 model, so this is the 13 normal and also the 13 mini, but the main difference is how the camera has changed to be diagonal in the module now. The main thing to take away from this report is that we can see how the designs are now looking and also that accessory makers have started production on accessories for the new iPhone 13 models, so they are on their way. Now, two additional things quickly just to point out as well is that we've had a new report from John Prozer recently and he's changed his mind in calling the new iPhone the iPhone 12s and has now backtracked himself on this and has decided to call it the iPhone 13 instead. What a lot of other leakers are also saying and also something that I mentioned in my other previous iPhone 13 video. I've said this before, but the name is still up for debate. But I cannot deny that more leaks and reports refer to the iPhone as the iPhone 13. So for now, I'm sticking with the iPhone 13 name until we get more leaks or reports that say so otherwise. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks that are coming through are not 100% proof that they will come true for the new iPhone. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next iPhone anyway. So right now, this channel is doing a giveaway at the moment, and it is for this. It is for a MacBook Pro M1. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 200,000 subscribers. So if you want to be in a chance to get your hands on this MacBook Pro, all I'd like to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple gear do you plan to get in 2021? Maybe you're planning on getting a new iPhone or a MacBook or even an iPad, for example. Let me know in the comments below. And when we get over 200,000 subscribers, I will be revealing who the winner is. But make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, because when we get over that 200,000 mark, you'll want to get the notification of that video of when I announce who the winner is, and it could be you. At the same time as well, if you're feeling good and generous, hit that like button at the same time for this video. So that is the latest on leaks and also the giveaway. So let's do the release date next. So last year, due to the pandemic, it was really the only year we haven't seen a flagship iPhone released in September in the last five years or so. 
However, with leaks flying around that Apple has started production on the new iPhone earlier this year, it is likely we'll get a September release. In fact, many reports are already showing that this is going to be the case in 2021, with an expected September or early October launch for all the iPhone 13 models. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives believes that the iPhone 13 range will be announced during the third week of September time. That would be a little later than usual since Apple tends to launch iPhones in the first week or second week of that month, but this information does suggest that we may be seeing the iPhone 13 release date as September 24th. I should point out this is a fairly good guess and it's based on taking Ives prediction at face value. Apple typically holds its iPhone launch event on a Tuesday with pre-orders then starting on that same week on the Friday. Then after this, the first wave of iPhones typically arrive in customer hands the following Friday after that. So this means if Ives is correct, we could be seeing the iPhone 13 launch on September 14th, then pre-orders opening on September 17th, and then the release of the iPhone 13 on September 24th. However, at the end of this year, we will also see other Apple events for other Apple products like MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch and AirPods and loads more. And if you want the latest information about these products, do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest info about them. So next, let's talk about the iPhone 13 Pro model prices and the best way to do this is to give you a summary of what we know so far for all the models. Let's start with the summary of the iPhone 13 Pro. As I said, many more leaks will come along and they'll be added to this list, so this was subject to change as it were, but this is everything that we know so far. And also in all my other videos coming up in the future for the iPhone 13 Pro models, if there are any kind of leaks that kind of link to any of the information here, I will go over those leaks again. So first of all, the screen. It will be a 6.1 inch screen, just like the iPhone 12 Pro, and it will be an LTPO LED display. This is a slightly different kind of display that we have like inside the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11 and below that for an OLED display. But like I said, other leaks are coming in to talk about that further on in other videos. But the resolution of this display is 2532 by 1170. Also at the same time as well, leaks are showing that we are most likely finally this year going to be getting a ProMotion display and what that basically means in normal language is a 120 hertz refresh rate display. So this basically means that the display will refresh itself 120 times per second. And finally, the iPhone 13 Pro would have caught up with kind of Android rivals that also give this option right now. For storage, we get 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabyte, 512 gigabytes, and for the first time, one terabyte of storage as a According to some new leaks. We're also getting the A15 Bionic, again other leaks have talked about this and the specifications behind this actual chipset and it also comes with 5G connectivity, however Apple will be borrowing a Qualcomm 5G modem again just like what they did in the iPhone 12 models. Again, this iPhone is going to be equipped with 6GB of RAM just like the iPhone 12 Pro and also it will have a stainless steel body frame, what again is very similar to the design we've got on the 12 Pro. But as leaks have told us, the actual frame will be actually slightly thicker to accommodate a bigger battery, what I'll get onto in a mo. On the rear, we will have a triple camera and LiDAR sensor, and as leaks have shown already, there's going to be lots of changes and modifications to those camera setup on the back of the actual iPhone 13 Pro. Then for battery size, we get a bump up over the iPhone 12 Pro in the latest leaks that we've had, and we're going to be getting a 3095 mAh battery. Now for prices, the leaks are a bit over the place to be fair, so I've taken this from one reference, so this could change subject to closer to the launch of the actual iPhone 13 Pro. So starting out, we're going to be getting a 128 gigabyte option, but we'll start at 1,049 US dollars, 256 gigabytes for 1,149 US dollars, 512 gigabytes for 1,349 US dollars, and then finally, one terabyte for 1,549 US dollars. 
Now, moving on to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, there are a lot of shared features with the iPhone 13 Pro, for example, like chipset and RAM size, what I'll get onto in a second. But one of the main big differences has got to be the screen size. So again, we're going to be getting that sort of 6.78 screen, and it's going to be an LTPO OLED display. And again, this is that new type of screen technology, what I discussed with the iPhone 13 Pro. The resolution on this display is going to be 2,700. 178 by 1280 and again it's going to be finally getting a pro motion 120 hertz display as many leaks have shown this again storage sizes are very similar to the 13 pro where we get 128 gigabytes 256 gigabyte 512 gigabytes and finally a one terabyte storage option as we have seen in previous leaks we're also getting an a15 bionic chipset again what i spoke about and saying that we've had lots of leaks and lots of details about how that's all going to work and also 5g connectivity with an actual modem borrowed from qualcomm inside it again six gigabytes of ram again that stainless steel frame body very similar to the 13 pro max but like i said in like in the uh, 13 pro it's going to be slightly thicker according to some new leaks because it's going to accommodate for a bigger battery inside on the rear we do have that triple camera and lidar sensor and all of those different bits and pieces have been upgraded as we have seen in leaks and then again battery size is going to be bigger at 4352 milliamps for price again starting with the 128 gigabyte storage option it's going to start at 1149 us dollars 256 gigabytes for 1349 dollars 512 gigabytes for 1449 us dollars and finally one terabyte the newest storage option for 1649 dollars so as per usual with this list of features i'll be keeping it updated as more leaks come on in all the way up to the iphone 13 launch well it's time to wrap this up so don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest iphone news apple news reviews and comparisons please do hit subscribe followed by the bell until next time guys see you soon